Look at that thing. That thing is an absolute freaking monster. Look at that. It's huge. That's never going to fit. What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mr. Gamer. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent one. It is midnight. Yet again, yet again, we are back on Satisfactory. And today, ladies and gentlemen, is oil production day. That's right. We're going to be doing plastics. We're going to be doing rubbers because we need lots of condoms. We're going to be doing crude oil, fuel, and we're going to be doing circuit boards. We're going to be doing five different things today. So I decided to start out over here at the oil slick that we were out in the last video. And as you can see, I've done some prep work. I've also done a ton of prep work back at the main base. So we need to set this up area up there out here. I want to do one, two, three, four, four different uh, buildings. The oil, uh, the oil pump, the uh, I've totally forgotten what the names of the oil pump. We're going to do the oil refinery. Then we're going to jump into our power. We're going to do our fuel generator. And we're also instead of I've decided instead of doing a conveyor belt over to our main base we're going to be doing a truck station and a truck route we're only going to be doing one truck but i'm going to build the full-size truck as well we're not just going to use the goat uh which is actually over there we're not going to use the goat we're going to use the ram okay okay so let's go ahead and get this started and then later on i'll show you all the preparations i've done over there all i've done over here is just put out a bunch of foundations as you can see i'm sure because you're all a bunch of smart people oil pump um, is going to go this way. Then the oil refinery, if I can actually fit it, I'm going to line it up on the other side. It doesn't line up very well, does it? Uh, now, here's the thing. Do I want to do it forward or do I want to do it backwards? I think I want to do it backwards because I plan on putting... The fuel generator on the other side yeah let's go ahead and do it this way all right then let's go ahead and get our fuel generator out so we can oh did you guys hear that slam to the ground that is cool sounding i'm loving that fuel generator let's go ahead and take our fuel generator uh where is the actual these things are huge man that's what she said um Let's go ahead and put it right there, but I need to back it up far enough because I need to put a splitter on it because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw our truck station up here and I need fuel to go into the truck station to fuel the truck. So it's going to be... See, this thing doesn't really line up with anything. Uh, let's just do this. Let's go ahead and go down. I don't like getting off this thing. It makes me really nervous because that always happens. I always hit the ground. That's why I'm down to three, three freaking life too. Okay, so we got our oil. So with the oil, this starts out automatically at 240 per minute. Super. That's awesome. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to go ahead. Let's see. How are we going to do this? We need to split the crude oil up so half of it goes in here and it doesn't have to be half this thing's going to fill up so quick and that thing's going to be going so slow that 240 per minute of oil crude oil will still be going into our truck stop uh, but i still need to kind of split everything up so what i'm thinking i'm going to do let's see how are we going to do this um so we go here and then we'll go conveyor splitter should go like right about spin spin thank you okay we'll go right about i don't know right about there i'm hoping that'll actually work uh and then you can come in here how straight is that now nah, i can fix that later that's fine that's good enough it's straight enough uh did i use mk4 no i did not but i'm going to use it now okay so there's that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and place our vehicle truck station right over here it's getting dark maybe i should have waited till morning to start this uh okay so the vehicle truck station is a little bit confusing basically you've got two slots going in and you've got one slot coming out now the one slot coming out on the right hand side of the screen is the slot where you're unloading the two on the left, the far left, is fuel for your truck. 
the one in the center is your product that you're transporting with your truck and you're they're all loading in okay so what i want to do is i want to see if i can line up let's just line it up in the center shall we and we'll get it back as far as we possibly can hopefully we can connect these belts okay so the other side of this is going to go into the middle slot because that is going to be our crude oil that is going to go in there the other half is going to go into that now when this gets full instead of being a split of 120 120 uh basically you'll have 240 coming through here okay but now we need fuel for our vehicle and one of the most important things that you need for this and i think a lot of people get confused on this is you need to have power coming into your truck stop uh is that even yeah because we're not unloading anything so you have to have power coming into it or it's not going to work properly Okay, so let's go ahead and get our power set up real quick here, and then we'll go ahead. Actually, you know what? We need to start doing this. Let's go into logistics. Then we're going to go into... Na, 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 na. We need a splitter. That's what we need. Okay, so this is going to come out here. Okay, and we're going to go here. So we're going to have fuel coming into the splitter there, and fuel going into the generator there. And then we're going to take and we're going to put a power thing there. We're going to go, let's go one there, one there, one there, one there. Okay, so that's our four connections on that. Then what I can do is not get up on the other side of this because we can't jump high enough when, they, when the splitters float like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this fuel gauge. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to start giving me that whole encroaching on other crap, crap, crap. Nope. This here, there, there, and here. Okay, so we're going to go down here and straighten this bad boy out. And we're going to go ahead and set that up right there. Okay, so that'll be fuel, and this is going to produce fuel in here. Okay, so now to actually get this bad boy powered and started up, I made a little bit of fuel uh, in our vehicle here. We're going to take a hundred of these. Actually, I already had a hundred in my inventory. I totally forgot about that. We're going to throw those in here. Hundred fuel. And then I'm going to go ahead and just throw the extra hundred that I've got right over here. Because I don't think I actually need it. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Okay, so now we've got crude oil coming in. Now we do need 60 per minute. But honestly, we actually don't. And that's because this thing doesn't really use it fast enough um, with only these couple of machines to power it to really go through the power that fast, I believe. I don't know if that actually takes into account how much power you've got into it and how quickly it goes down. I don't think so because it says five seconds. But it does say that it needs 60 per minute. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have a problem with it. If I have to later on, I'll overclock it if we have any problems. But as you can see, we've already got fuel coming in. And now we've already got crude oil coming into here. Now, this is going to fill up completely with the crude oil. And then we're just going to make sure that we keep the loading clicked on. So if we click unloading that means it's going to try to unload if we click loading it's going to you know load all of this crude oil on now if you're wondering okay what's better the mk4 belts or the truck uh i don't know exactly i know the mk4 belts are only very 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 slightly better by like 60 crude oil than the goat and that's what we're calling this little the little truck but i don't know if the big trucks actually have a larger uh holding capacity i'm assuming they do but i need rubber and i need beacons so we're gonna have to go back to to to, to the main base and actually uh get those things craft those and then we can go ahead and make the truck so we got fuel coming out of here we got fuel coming in here and we should be good to go. This thing's all cranked up and ready to go. We're basically done over here. So I'm going to head back over to the base and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back at base. Let me show you some of the prep work I did for that. On the right side of our conveyor belt stack for our storage, the top two conveyors 
are free. Now, as you can see, the conveyor belts look a little bit different. That's because I've changed every single belt in the entire base to MK4s. Did I need to do that? No. Was it fun? Yes. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy about it because it's given a little bit of substance to the conveyor belts. It's kind of cool looking, but at the same time, they can be a little blocking. They can block your sight a little bit. So anyway, the top two conveyors are empty. So what I've done is I've extended them out over our, our uh, steel factory, excuse me, <clears throat> steel factory, as well as the motor factory, and I've created a double helix to go down past the outside of our platform here. Now let me show you exactly what's down here. I did not mean to jump off of there completely. Uh, I have opened up this entire area and put platforms down. I've taken all the trees out and everything. As you can see, I've already laid out our assembler that's going to we're going to be using for um, circuit boards. Okay, so there's our circuit boards. Now, one of the things about circuit boards is we need wire, and on top of that, most important, we need 60 wire, as you can barely see right there, 60 wire per minute. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a, a, a wire conveyor belt over here on the right hand side, and I've added an extra constructor over on our uh, uh, copper mine. All right. Um, on top of that, like I said, I've got a double helix that goes straight up, as you can see, uh, and that's pretty cool. I'm loving that. And that's gonna be carrying basically our rubber and our circuit boards. On top of that, fuel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some fuel over here. I have taken and I've ran a, uh, uh, a conveyor belt to come all the way over and up this side over here and into let me just show you. Let me just show you. Into a Mark IV or a Mark II uh, storage container. And then also I've got a Mark IV belt running all that up into there. That thing is full. And that's because I put a foundry down, I harvested a bunch of oil, and I made a bunch of fuel just in case we needed it over here to get things started. I don't think we do, but just in case. So I went ahead and built a, a quick foundry down, or not a foundry, but an oil oil foundry. Well, it is an oil foundry. Is it a foundry? What's the name of it? Oil refinery down here. And I just did a bunch of fuel and stuff, and then it helped me kind of measure and, 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 and size up where everything's going to be. Um, and then I've gone ahead and I've made an area over here where crude oil is going to be taken up this helix over here. It's going to be attached to the top of our uh, conveyor belt line, and that's going to go up into storage is just crude oil. Now, normally we would have six uh, oil refineries but we only need five and that's because one for uh one for plastic well three for plastics i'm actually doing three for plastics i'm doing one for um fuel and one for rubber and then we don't need one for crude oil because that's the way it's going to be coming you know out of the out of the ground so on top of our copper as you can see we used to have four constructors over here uh, we have one two three four five now I added this one on the end I extended our splitters out and then this one over here is actually going to be doing I didn't bring any of my overclockers because I'm actually missing one I've already put away all of our, our overclockers no nope, that was this is the one that's a new one and this one goes straight out uh, everything up here is kind of spaghetti to be completely honest with you everything it's just it, it's crossing wires and crossing belts and it comes out here it goes over there it comes down here and then as you can see it comes along the side down here and it drops down drops down and comes down to our uh, our circuit boards and I think later on we're probably going to be doing our heavy modular frames in this area and as well as our as our uh, uh, computers so it should be it should be pretty good to go so the first thing i want to do is i want to make the truck now i'm hoping this thing isn't too stinking big because if it is then it's not gonna it's not gonna fit i just i it's not gonna fit holy crap look at that thing that thing is an absolute freaking monster look at that it's huge that's never gonna fit that's what she said so anyway what we're gonna what I was thinking was we would 
put the uh, oh man, that thing is so big. We would put the, uh, the 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 truck stop right here where that truck actually is. We'll drive out. We'll drive down. We'll come around, take a right, come around this corner, and we'll go underneath this conveyor belt. There's no way in hell that thing is going to fit under this conveyor belt. So I'm going to have to go ahead and raise that conveyor belt up. Actually, I could probably just do it right now. There we go, right there. Okay, so that should hopefully work. That should be high enough. I'm also worried about our clearance over here when it comes down to these belts. Eventually, I think I'm going to have to take all of our stuff over here and just make helixes going up because it just keeps getting higher and higher, and I don't know if it'll actually fit. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and put down... Should we put down... Uh, our foundries first. Let's go ahead and try this. So that goes over there. That's got a line up there. This is going to come over here. I think I could probably line that right up here, right up against that line and all the way over. We'll go ahead and give that a try and see if that actually works. So there's one foundry, ah, 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 two foundries, ah, ah, ah. This one's probably going to say encroaching on something because of something else. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to go into logistics and we're going to take out a splitter because we need to split some shizzle up. Let's go over here. Oh, did I say shizzle? I really did, didn't I? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and, and connect that to you. Connect this to over here. We're going to go ahead and put that right between those two. That'll leave an area where we can actually see how, uh, how to, where to put the next splitters over there. And then let's go back into our production. Get another oil refinery out. And then you come here. Can you stick? Can you just go right there? Thank you. How many we got? We got three. So we should be able to get five in here. I measured it. Four. Uh, can't afford. What am I missing? Really? And we're back with some cabling this time. All right. Uh, okay. So oil refinery. That's probably going to be in the wrong direction. So we'll switch it around. Put you over there. Bada boom, bada bang. Perfect. 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 Okay. So next we're going to go ahead. Whoops. We're going to go ahead and take that out because that will not allow me to put a splitter in there. We're going to go ahead and put a splitter right there. We'll go ahead and line you up with that. Bring you back here. That should be perfect. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to make sure. Because if it's not, there we go. Come on. That should be perfect. And we should be able to put an MK4 in there. Or not. Really? There is no problem with that shape whatsoever. All right, let's try a splitter over here. And then we're going to go ahead. And now this one over here is going to be a little wonky. We're going to put it on the outside over here. And that's going to get in my way. I know it will. No, I don't want you to count the splitters. I want you to lay them out. Lay them out for me, baby. Okay, so that's going to come over here. Okay, are you lined up with that splitter? Is that the one you're... Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put it to the right side of this of this refinery over there. All right. Now, for some reason, this one's giving me hell. So what we're going to do is we're just going to connect this one over here. We're going to connect this one over here. And you go to that refinery. You go to that refinery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a con about MK4 belts. You get thrown around like crazy. Oh, yeah, I see why you're giving me a problem now. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, now I need you to... All right, now that should work. It should give me just enough space. What is your problem? There we go. Okay, just enough space to work. You need to go into there. You need to go over here, and you need to go over there. All right, we've got that done and over with. Now, we need to move this honking beast out of the freaking way, but I can't because I don't have any fuel in the stinking thing, so I can go ahead and put in another truck stop. 
truck station truck station okay so with this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna unload into this yeah we're gonna unload into this splitter I really can't see very well to be honest with you it's making it very difficult okay is that gonna work there why do you gotta be cockeyed I don't think you need to be cockeyed like that it's not necessary yeah see and it doesn't line up with the holes when you straighten it out like that so no matter what I do it's gonna be cockeyed all right that's fine whatever okay we'll go ahead and put an mk4 in there now with this one what we're gonna do is all we need over here is we just need a little bit of power so what we're gonna do let's see so we're gonna go power just do a little bit of power there power that to that okay and we're gonna switch this to unloading right here and then it'll unload everything it has it oh, everything that has into this splitter and then this splitter will do all the splitting that it needs to do okay and we don't need to worry about fuel into this because our truck should be able to easily get back over to the other side fill up and then come back without we're running out of you know running out of all of its gas so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up some power for these guys you and power this one here which is connected to this here all right so now we need to do our belts so let me show you what i've got going on here so to start off on the left hand side what i've done is i've gone ahead and i've set it up to where this is going to put out crude oil okay so it's going to split the 240 is going to split into 120 120 it's going to be 80 80 80 and then 40 40 40 40 40 on the left hand side it's going to be 40 going into this uh oil refinery and then we're going to have crude coming up here up to the helix straight up to our storage okay so this first smelter is actually going to be uh plastics and that plastic is going to go straight into our storage so what i've done is i put a splitter out front and that splitter is going to split well it's actually a merger yeah i believe that's actually a merger okay so the merger what's going to do is it's going to come out this is going to go into the merger and everything that's produced in here is going to go out the merger and then in here this is also going to be plastics and this is a splitter now this splitter is going to split everything that it's made into here into three or into two so half of it's going to go to the right and merge together with the plastic that goes into the storage and the other half is going to go to the left over there now this splitter is going to go to that merger over there okay is that did i rerun that or is that an old belt or what okay so here's the thing the plastics make 22.5 per minute and it needs 30 crude oil per minute okay so that one's going to be making 22.5 this one's going to be split into two so it's going to be making 11 uh 11 on each side it's going to be yeah 11 on each side so 11 will be coming down here and will be added to that which will make that 33 okay and then 11 will come down to there here be added to this one this one's also going to do plastic and that'll make 33 as well now that one is going to connect to this uh this assembler and this assembler is going to be doing circuit boards and as you can see plastic it needs 30. so now that i split that and i didn't have to build this one but i did anyway just in case because if i can just overclock this one later on I can actually disconnect or overclock this one i'm sorry i can disconnect this one and use the plastics for anything i want which i'm thinking i'm going to use later on for computer chips you guys following me cool uh so this one goes down into here and that goes down to there so it's getting 33 and it only is required to get 30. cool now we need our wire to come in that's why i've got our wire here wire comes back goes straight into there so now we've got our wire going in there and we should be good to go now we need to go ahead and power this bad boy on and i'm going to go ahead and connect our power from here way down there 
that should be good to go okay so everything's set up everything should have power and everything should be good to go now there's the other last two that we need this one is going to be rubber for the flavored condoms and that's going to be connected to here it's going to go up the double helix and it's going to go straight into Da, 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 da. our storage yay we're gonna have rubbers in storage now our assembler that's doing our circuit boards that's going to be attached back here and that's going to go up the double helix it's going to take our um our circuit boards up the double helix and into our storage as well last but not least we've got our fuel and this one's going to be doing the fuel over here that's going to attach to there because it's all just funky look how weird that is can i just that is so odd why did it i don't know why it did that can i just you're not gonna let me do that are you there we go yeah i don't like it as much but that'll work okay so we're gonna go ahead and do fuel there now i am going to set up a oil or a fuel generator place I don't know where it might be on top of those rocks over there might be over there but that's why i brought fuel down here is just because we need to fuel those fuel generators over here okay so now we've got everything set up and ready to go we need to figure out if we can actually get this truck uh to make a loop for us and it's not going to be in the way uh so here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and remake the truck i'm going to spin it around so it's going this direction is it too tall for this i don't think it is but i do have a feeling that i'm going to need to put in a couple of these bad boys just so we don't fall off the side now can we put some fuel in it Does this have a bigger inventory? It looks like it does have a bigger inventory. I can't make a tractor. It looks like it does have a bigger inventory than the tractor does. I got some fuel. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, now to do this, to set up our route. Oh, I really hope I can get under our conveyor belts with this. I'm going to start out right about here. Stop taking stuff out and stuff, okay? Start out right about here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit C. Stop moving, you freaking idiot. No, stop. Okay, I'm gonna hit C, I'm gonna go to start recording, and we're gonna have to make a path. So we're recording now. So I think what you can do is you can take this nice and easy and slow. And then the audio, the audio, the autopilot will go ahead and drive like as fast as it needs to. So I'm going to come under here. I'm hoping to God this is going to come under there. It does work. Comes under there. I'm going to see if I can go over here. I can't hear any vroom vroom sounds. And there we go. As soon as I set it, I'm going to get as close as I can to these conveyors. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to redo all of the conveyors. Oh, it barely makes it under. Barely makes it under the first one. Then we're going to go ahead and duck down over here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up this circle. Basically, all I really have to do is go over to the other truck stop. And stop underneath the uh, underneath the truck stop over there. And then come all the way back to complete the loop. Ooh, this might not be a good thing. No, nope, this is not a good thing. This is going to take me a while to complete this loop. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, to be honest with you, the truck has its pros and its cons. Its pros, it is a blast to drive manually. It jumps, it slides, it rolls, it's just all over the place and it carries a ton of inventory space. However, the cons to it are when you enable the autopilot, it jumps, it spins, it, it rolls, it jumps, it's all over the place. And that tends to make it either get stuck or get confused. Now, when it gets stuck or confused, it ends up doing this endless loop of back up, pull forward, back up, pull forward. And it just does a 360 and it gets confused and it just ends up sitting there and you have to go rescue it. 
Now, to avoid this, basically you need to kind of pick and choose the best widest path with the least amount of resistance for it to be able to work properly. It took me about five or six tries to be able to get a decent, uh, a decent pathway for this thing. Okay, that's how difficult it was. The goat or the tractor, as you would call it, does not do that. The tractor, you can take over anything, anywhere. Make your path as crazy as you want to. That thing is stable, especially when it's in autopilot mode. It's absolutely nuts. That thing has no problem. It does have half the inventory space, but even with MC, look at that thing slide all over the place. Look at that. Even with MK4 belts doing 400 plus, um, it still transports enough crude oil or product that it actually still slightly does better than the MK4 belts. So if I was to run an MK4 line over here, the the goat or the the tractor would actually be just as good as an mk4 belt maybe even slightly better especially if you can get a really quick pathway to go um yeah so the, honestly i might just end up i I'll, I'll try working with the truck a little bit and everything else to see how well it's working see if it gets caught or anything else i think i got a pretty good path with it but if i have any problems with it i'm going to stop using it plain and simple and i'm going to start using the tractor because i'm pretty sure the tractor actually works just as well but it has no problems with pathing uh okay so we've got a whole bunch of crude oil coming in as you can see and everything's on its way there's the helix for the crude oil for the um for the storage that is already full that's how fast all of this has just worked me trying to get those paths going has already filled up one of our storages uh when it comes down to our plastics our plastics are on its way on their way to our storage as you can see that's doing completely awesome that's splitting into two we got 33 going into our storage that's working out real well we've got our wire coming down and i believe we've already now we haven't filled up quite yet on our circuit boards but we do have 30 plastic coming in and we do have 60 wire coming in that's why we're at 100 percent circuit boards which i'm totally excited about uh this plastic thingamajigger is working pretty well yeah all of the plastic is doing really really well and i like i said before i think it's going to be totally awesome when i'll even be able to overclock one of these so i can take one of them off of this line and i can run it over so we can do computer chips that should be pretty cool our rubber's on its way as you can see it's doing pretty good it's going up our double helix which is awesome and then this is already filled up so our fuel was if i could actually get it properly set up right so it runs proper and things there we go there we go all right so our fuel's done its way it's already full down there and like i said before uh i will be setting up a generator farm a fuel generator farm and i'll probably end up running this line of fuel to that fuel generator farm um I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be up top somewhere on one of the rocks up there or something. It's going to be super cool. I really enjoyed setting this up. I had a lot of fun. We're, this is the advanced stuff. This is the end game stuff. The only thing we have left is computers and I believe uh, heavy module frames. So there is your oil production, ladies and gentlemen, and there is your truck stop and your tr automatic truck uh, what do you want to call it? automatic truck deliveries and we just jumped over to the other side so yeah if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't don't hit it just make sure no matter what you do subscribe thanks for coming out channel and hanging out with me today guys i really appreciate it hope you had fun i know i did keep gaming keep doing it at midnight have a blast we'll see you guys in the next episode take care have a good one and bye bye